All right. So let's start off our discussion by talking about file objects. Now, file objects are another type of object in the Authorit library. They are primarily used for holding graphics. All right, and they are either containers for graphics or they simply link to graphics that exist somewhere on your network. File objects can also be used to contain OLE objects or object linking and embedding objects. Those are objects that are created from other applications such as a Microsoft Word file or Microsoft Excel file is another common one. Uh, people will also use those to link to Visio files as well in their native VSD format. All right, now you can also use file objects to insert some HTML code into your application. Let's say, for example, you would like to run a Flash file inside of your HTML project. Flash files are not uh, natively compatible with Authorit, but if you place that Flash file inside of an HTML page, that HTML page can be linked to Authorit so that you then have that Flash file inside of your HTML project. You can also use file objects to link to AVI files and WAV files as well, or in other words, movie files or sound files. Now the file format that you can link to in a file object is dependent on the output format. So some file formats are compatible with Microsoft Word and PDF, while others are compatible with your help file formats or your HTML format. So depending on the output format that you're publishing to, you just have to be mindful of whether that file format is compatible with the output that you're going to be publishing that file object to. Now here is an example of a file object in the Authorit library. And right now we are looking at the web tab of this file object. Now you'll notice that over on the right hand side here, the file object gives you a preview of the file that you've associated with this particular object. All right, and then over on the left hand side, we have those object properties that are associated with that object so that when that object is published to your print help or web output, these properties will be assigned to that graphic. And we'll take a look at what your options are as far as setting your object properties. All right, now file objects can't just exist on their own they are placed inside of a topic object. So wherever you would like that graphic to display, you would then place that inside of the appropriate topic object. We'll take a look at how you can insert those file objects into your topics. All right, now when you publish your file object, those object properties are then associated with that particular file object. So, for example, you can see there's some formatting differences here between this graphic which has been published in Word and then the same graphic that's been published in HTML. In this particular output, the graphic is larger and it's floating on the right hand side of the screen. And that's because of the way that the object properties were set up for that file object. 